Hi everybody, I'm Spike Brave. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to use the keyboard settings that are available in MechWarrior Online. As always, uh, when I do a settings video, I'm not trying to tell you how you should set up your settings. I'm just teaching you how to use the tools that are available so you can set it up the way that you like. So let's get to those keyboard settings. So if we come down here to the bottom right, we see we have settings, we click on that. And then on the navigation pane on the left hand side, we just click on keyboard. So this brings up a list of all the controls we can configure. So first of all, we have the command, so the commands listed, and then what key it's currently mapped to, and then you can do an alternate key if you'd like. So let's go through some of these commands that you may not be aware of that I think are pretty important that may help you out if you're a newer player. First of all is center torso. If you hit the C key, what this does is it centers your torso on the direction in which your legs are pointing. It can be very uh, useful if you are in a mech such as a Storm Crow, Crow Dragon, or Catapult that can really crank that torso and you're having trouble getting everything lined up again. Hit C and that will center your torso on your legs. Alternatively, what you can do is hit, let's see here, F. I usually hit C to center your legs on your torso. So it's just the exact opposite of what we we're just talking about. So we're running a certain direction and I want to look that way I hit, or I'm looking a certain way and I want to start running that way I hit F and it turns my legs that way. So uh, that's how you can align your mech if you need to do so quickly. Uh, another one that a lot of people aren't aware of is this arm lock key. If you're holding left shift by default here, it will uh, do the, it will, lock or unlock your arms depending on what you have set. So if you have it set for arm lock on and you hit left shift, your arms will not move freely. If you have it set for arm lock off and hit left shift, it'll slam them together. That could be very useful if you want to bring all your firepower to bear at one time. So uh, keep that guy in mind. And of course, there's a toggle that will just switch the mode as well that you can use. Let's see what other ones are pretty important that people may not be aware of. So we'll go through and we'll look a little bit and we can toggle, toggle chain fire with our backspace key. So what that does is if you hit uh, toggle chain fire, if you're in the regular mode for your weapon group, it shoots all your weapons. If you hit toggle chain fire, chain fire just shoots them one at a time. So that can be useful if you're overheating, so keep that guy in mind. Alrighty, let's look at uh, the zoom mode ones. I think these are pretty important. If you are a sniper, you can toggle certain zoom, I shouldn't say toggle, but set certain zoom modes to a specific key. So if you want to, you know, set z z zoom mode level two, I'm having trouble saying that, to a specific key so you don't have to click your uh, mouse wheel twice to get there, you can do so. So those ones are pretty important. Here's one that I don't think a lot of people know about that I think is horribly important. Toggle ECM mode. ECM has two modes. You can be in disrupt mode, which is what these ECM starts out by default, which protects you from enemy sensors. If you hit J, it changes you to counter mode. And what you'll do is you will counter an enemy's ECM. So if you're facing off against another ECM mech, hit J, it'll turn his ECM off. Of course, this does turn your ECM off too, so you're no longer shielded from enemy sensors, but that can be really advantageous if you have a large amount of the enemy team and they're all under one ECM shield and you hit J, all of a sudden the, the entire enemy team is now uh, exposed to, to friendly sensors. So I think that one's pretty important. Uh, and right underneath that, we have toggle AMS as well. You can turn off your AMS. So if you're in good hard cover and you got LRMs incoming, turn off your AMS so you don't waste ammo. Uh, that can uh, be useful if uh, you're taking a lot of LRM fire and you want to save that ammo for when you really need it. So let's take a look. I don't think there's anything else I want to show you. Oh, well, of course, the combat camera. That's always good for new players. If you hit F3, you will uh, change your view mode. If you're brand new and you just started, you'll notice that your view is from behind your mech in a drone. If you hit F3, it'll come. the drone will come into your mech and then you'll have a cockpit view. So... Uh, keep that in mind, you can toggle that third person mode by hitting F3. And I don't think there's another important one, but I do want to go through and make sure that we don't miss anything. Yep, nothing else horribly important. So let's show you how these key mappings work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with my throttle up and the Alt key so I don't mess any of the settings that I have set up. So what, what you need to do when you want to bind a key is double click on either the key map or the alt key map, whichever one you're, you're aiming at. So I'm going to aim at the alt key map and then double click it. And now it'll say bind key. The next key that you press will be what's bound. So let's bind this to L. 
There we go. Now my throttle up has an alter alternative key binding of L. If you'd like to take a key binding off and just not have anything there, hit this X. It will uh, make sure that you want to unbind it. Just click OK. And now it's gone. Now if you are going to bind something that's already bound, it will warn you. So let's do the same thing. We'll do throttle up. And what I'll do is I'll bind it to mouse one, which is fire weapon group one. So let's click that. And here it's going to give me a warning. It's already mapped. And it asks me if I wish to rebind my controls. If I say yes, it takes off the previous one. So let's hit yes. And what we'll see happen, see how fire weapon group one does not have the alternate key binding of mouse one anymore. It's now up here. So let's change that back. So double click. As you can see there, I did double click and it took me a couple tries. The timing's a little bit weird. So uh, keep that in mind that uh, if you're having trouble, just try timing your uh, mouse clicks a little bit differently. So let's bind that back to mouse one. It'll give me the same warning. We'll say yes. And then it comes off here and comes down here. That is really all there is to changing these bindings. As always, when you're done, press your save button. It'll ask you if you want to save them, say yes. It'll drop you back out here. We'll come back in. We'll go back to our keyboard settings. But that is all there is to changing your keyboard settings. I hope this video has been useful for you. I hope you've learned something. If you have any questions, please leave me a note in the comment below. If there's a specific tutorial you'd like to see, leave me a note and I will try to get to it. And as always, have great luck on the battlefield and I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.